Okay, I'm gonna walk through steps 71 through 80 of Free Code Camp's new responsive web design second project, learn basic CSS by building a cafe menu. So the first thing we're going to do is um, we're gonna change uh, the height of this HR element. So because there's a border on each side, there's a one pixel border on the top and one pixel on the bottom that we changed to brown in the previous step. Um, that means our the height of the the uh, the HR is actually five, and we want it to be four. So, so there's one and one, and then in the middle. So if it's one plus one, we have two, and if we want it to equal four, we need two in the middle instead of three. So that's why we're going to change this to two pixels. So it's a little bit thinner. Um, okay. So the next thing we're going to do, we're just going to add um, between main and footer, we're going to add another HR. And if we scroll down here, we can see it. So just another break to distinguish, okay, what sections do we have? So first we have this header, then we have the main, and then now we have the footer. Okay, so we wanna have a little bit extra space between the borders here and the start of the, um, of the menu. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna add a padding everywhere of 20 pixels to every, to all, to everything in the body. So that's pretty much the entire page, everything visible. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is we're gonna target all of the paragraphs inside of item. So we already actually have a CSS class for that, so we don't have to make anything new. So everything that's um, in an item class with a paragraph. So just as a reminder, if we open up any of this, so anything with item is usually, it's this article tag usually, and it has a paragraph inside. So it could say, caramel macchiato as in this case and we're just going to change there's a little bit too much spacing here so we're going to compress everything just a little bit um, by changing the margins so um, yeah so it's actually just targeting these paragraphs even though it does include that item tag it's just anything inside of the item tag so that's why it's helpful to do the indentations you can see oh everything in here because it's indented is a, will be affected so what we're going to just do is we're going to um, so we're going to set the margin top to five pixels, oops, so there we go. But it still looks a little funny because we haven't changed the bottom. So margin bottom, five pixels. And now, wow, everything's a lot more compact and you can view all the information in less space, but it's still super visible. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna do, we're just gonna make the font a little bit bigger just so we can um, read everything just that little bit better. So we're gonna change the font to 18 pixels. So no, none of the other fonts, or size, sorry, none of the other text change size except for um, paragraphs inside of an item class. So that just is all of these um, uh, items and prices. Okay, so it looks good, but this uh, HR is a little bit um, too close to cinnamon roll. Um, and so we want to have a little bit more space just like we have here between the HR and the coffee. So we want a little bit extra space from the cinnamon roll to this HR. So we're just going to create a new class called bottom line. Again, we have to add this class to an element for something to actually happen. So, but we have to write the CSS first before we can see any changes. So we'll just change that CSS. Nothing's actually going to change yet. So now in this next step, we're gonna add the class to this HR element, the one that is right after the cinnamon roll. We can see cinnamon rolls right there, so we're just gonna change the class here. So we're gonna, remember we called it bottom line. And there we go, we have a little more space and it looks more consistent like up here. Okay, so next we're gonna add a comment just so that we can figure out where we are um, in our CSS document because as you can see, we actually have quite a bit of uh, we have lines of code or CSS here. And so we're already on line 63. So just to make sure that we, we, when we look at this, let's say we come back in a week, do we remember where the footer was? Oh no, but, oh actually we have this comment here that's telling us, oh this is where all the stuff that's at the bottom of, that affects the bottom of the document goes. So what we're gonna do is we just wanna make the footer just a little bit bigger, not as big as this. So this, these paragraphs inside of the item are uh, 18 pixels. Uh, that's their size, but we want to make this one 14. So just a little bit smaller, but still bigger than what it currently is. So we just want to affect the entire footer and we're going to make it um, font size 
we're gonna make it 14 pixels. Actually, my fault, it actually makes it smaller. So now we know that regular paragraphs like this are somewhere between 14 pixels and 18 pixels. I don't know what the actual default is. It might depend on the browser. Next, um, we don't like how this is a purple color. That means I visited the link already. It would be blue if I hadn't. Um, that's just the default styling for a um, anchor tag. So what we actually want to do is we don't make it. We want to make the color black. So we're just going to change the color and make it black. And now the link is black in color. 